the month long series has begun. I hope you're ready for four videos all relating to the same thing that will be interesting and treating and educational, if you will. What are we going to be doing for this month? Well, I'm glad you asked. This month is Black History Month. And what better way to celebrate it than giving you a ton of knowledge of black people in the world who have done things that has changed our lives or has influenced people in the end. So with this lovely series, I'll be touching on individuals from the past, present, and the future, maybe, who have influenced society and that are also black or African American. This week's topic is going to be on inventors. So these are individuals who invented things that you might know of or might not know of, but have had some type of impact in your life. Let's go. peeps my name is Kirby but you guys can call me Kerbs and this is Kickback with Kerbs. Like I stated we're going to be talking about black individuals who have invented things that you may or may not know of and just shedding light on what they have done and a little bit on who they are. So without further ado let's begin. We're going to be doing this in chronological order. We have five individuals. Well I not we I don't have multiple people but I have five individuals I'd like to introduce you to or reacquaint you with throughout this video. Starting off, we're gonna go to 1872, the invention of the fire extinguisher, or more so the pipe and valve version of the fire extinguisher. This was made by Thomas J. Martin. Who is he, you might ask? Well, here you go. Thomas J. Martin was born in Harpsville, Alabama, and he actually was enlisted into the 18th Alabama Infantry. He used to be a merchant, but he settled down and kind of went to the farm life. Now, the pipe and valve extension of the fire extinguisher that he created was a device that was connected with a pipe to a reserve of water that was pressurized and from there that was taken to spray and extinguish the water in the water extinguish the fire in the near area now it kind of sounds like the water hoses that fire trucks are utilizing today and then it kind of got converted into a handheld system that could be brought and stored into the building or living environment if you will so Thank you, Thomas J. Martin. And the next time you look at a fire hose or a fire extinguisher, think of him. Jumping a little forward, we're gonna go to 1894. And we're going to be meeting a man named John Albert Burr. He's a repairman from Maryland and his parents were actually previous slaves who were then free. He always liked to work with his hands and did a lot of craftsmanships and eventually actually making the lawnmower. So the lawnmower that you'd push with the rotating wheel in front uh, and it made sure that it was more steady than the other devices that were used to actually push the clippings and not get stuck as other ones have been doing. John Albert Bird also attended Harvard Business School with the help of some individuals that he assisted earlier with his handiworks. Uh, he went on to actually creating 30 more patents, which I will be leaving links down below for you to look into that to see all of his lovely inventions. Now we're in the year 1900. We're going to be talking about Madam C.J. Walker. Her birth name was actually Sarah Breedlove and she named herself Madam C.J. Walker after her third husband when she actually started doing her own hair care products. The invention that she did is the refined straightening comb. It was something that already existed. However, she did make the product have wider teeth for the comb, which allowed for African Americans to start utilizing the products to straighten their hair without damaging it with chemicals to make it straight. She was born and raised off the delta of a Louisiana plantation, and her interest in hair care products actually stemmed from her own hair issues that she was experiencing at the time. So she wanted to make products that would actually help her and help others in their situation. Fun fact on this fun fact, she was the first female self-made millionaire in the United States, which cements her into history for her invention and also for her successes. Next up, we're gonna jump to 1984 and we'll be meeting George E. Alcorn, the inventor of the X-ray spectrometer. He is from Indianapolis, Indiana and worked for IBM and for NASA. He actually was also a traveling professor for Howard University, which is a HBCU, which stands for a historically black college and or university. There, he got his master's degree in nuclear physics. To go a little deeper into the X-ray spectrometer, what it did was it analyzed the chemical and electrometal particles of an object. It is utilized today in food and agricultural inspections. So 
when you're looking at your food and you're wondering how did it get checked to get here, it's because of George E. Alcorn. Lastly, our time traveling trip is gonna end us off at 1989, where we're gonna be talking about Lonnie Johnson. He is from Mobile, Alabama, and got his nuclear engineering degree from Tuskegee University, another HBCU. He's a former Air Force and NASA engineer, so I guess you're wondering, what did he invent? And you won't believe it. It's the super soaker, the tool that you use to go outside and have fun when you're trying to reserve on your water balloons in an epic water fight. Ironically enough, the Super Soaker was actually made by accident. It was initially made to improve heat pumps and then ended up into this fun-filled toy that everyone used nowadays. Lonnie Johnson, just like John Albert Burr, made a ton of inventions and have a lot of other patents as well. So I will be leaving that information down below for you to observe as well. Now, I only highlighted five individuals, but there's plenty of more black people in the world who have invented things that you are currently using now that you don't really know. You might know about the traffic light by Garrett Morgan or the mailbox by Philip Downing. But there's plenty more people out there that you should learn about and I'll be definitely leaving more information in the description down below. So don't be afraid to learn more about black history today. Also, if there's an invention that I didn't mention that you'd love to spotlight, feel free to drop that in the comment section below so we can all be a little more informed about the wonderful things that have been created by wonderful people. All right, my dudes, that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned more, and I hope I piqued your interest to look more into what has been invented by black people in the world. Like I said, this is a month long series, so don't forget to check out the next three following videos as well for you to learn more during this lovely month of history. If you like this video and would like to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you think I did a good job, give me a thumbs up so I know how I'm doing. But until next time, adios for now. Thank you.